Hi everyone, welcome back to Plum Mashable. So today is Monday, which means it's time to decorate and we're using the brand new Sweet 2019 collection from Kiki K. So if you wanna see how this one all came together, then just keep watching. Okay, so we're gonna start off in the Paper Lovers book. So this is the cute one, but it does have the sweet in the back. So I'm grabbing gonna do the flipper first because that way I can kind of get what I'm doing from that so I'm gonna get this one here that says every day is a little ray of sunshine so I'm just pulling that out of the book I feel like I haven't done a Kiki K decoration in forever very excited to be playing with this collection I'm trying really hard not to tear this postcard very very hard So we have the postcard we want free. Now what I'm going to do is tidy it up a little bit because I hate those perforations. They drive me nuts. So I'm scrubbing my paper trimmer. For my little like little jobs, I always still use my little Fiskars paper trimmer. I love my big one. The big one is great, but for little jobs, I think this is much easier. So just going all around all the sides. And then just with my scissors, which we'll hear somewhere just got a little bit of fluff on there so I'm just getting rid of that I always just like to double check that that's really bad the only problem with this trimmer it feels like it's dying slowly all right I'm gonna fix that because that's gonna drive me crazy So we will end up getting the big one out, which was not the point, but anyway. That's better. Now it feels straight. I do love that about this trimmer that it's got this side thing. Helps a lot. Okay, so because we're gonna do our footy details on the back, I'm going to cover the back up because I don't want the postcard type thing. So I'm just grabbing the notepad. I'm gonna get this really cute one with the bones and the paws. Fine. Good thing it doesn't matter that I'm going to tear that at the top. And we're going to cover that whole thing with the paper and then cut it out. So you don't have to be neat with this bit. This is the best part about covering up the back. It can be a bit messy. But just to make sure you've got plenty of glue on it, just because we are going to, of course, you're going to run out right now. No, you're not. I thought you did. So because I don't want. I want at least one edge to be straight, so I always stick it on the side. And that way I know it's going to be at least a little bit straight. Okay. Bring that trimmer back in and just cut off all the excess paper. I'm also just going to cut a little bit off at the top, a little bit of the cardboard, just because I've cut some a little bit more at this side now it doesn't look even to me. I'm just cutting a little bit of that off. So then we've got a little pause on the back and I'm just going to turn it into a little tab just so that I can, that's really, no, there we go. Just so that I can have it in my planner and have it flip over. So I want it this week to sit on this side. And I'm going to have it sitting at the top, not that that matters, but so I'm going to have it on that side. put our footy details on the back so that'll work really nicely while I'm here and all I'm just gonna put mark out the holes righto now we're gonna actually play with the decorating so jumping back into the paper lovers book and we're gonna grab I don't know if I want to use the spots they're not really spots they're more like little lines. There were spots. I was sure there were spots. Do you reckon those ones or that? No. Ryan says big ones. I'm just tearing that out gently. And just because I've been using much more along the top and the bottom recently, I'm going to go along 
the side and I might grab some washi tape that kind of matches this to put along the top and the bottom because I just want to I really want the paper to be the star this time so I'm just grabbing my paper trimmer in again I'm just going to use this to cut a couple of strips so I'm not stressing out too much about having them like measuring them first I'm just going to sort of put them as wide as I think and then I'll cut the excess off afterwards Alright, so I also just grabbed some washi tape. This is just from Kmart. It's just one of their pasta ones. So I'm going to use that along the top and then this on the side. So I'm going to stick that down first. Actually, I want the washi tape to be underneath the paper. So I'll put the washi down first. I'm going to cover up the date with a sticker. So I'm not going to worry about that at this point. Sticking that down along the line and then we'll do the same thing on the bottom and then cut off the excess. Okay, so the washi tape's down. I'm going to get that strip back in. I'm going to run that right down the side and we're going to leave, oh, actually, maybe we'll do a really thick one for a change, we haven't done that in ages. And I did deliberately cut these the exact same width so that I could do this. We'll cover up the, the days of the week for a change and we'll do a really thick one on this side. So I'm just grabbing some scrap paper just to protect my desk. Whenever I do this I always end up making a mess so I'm going to try not to make a mess. glue. I've got some more in my drawer I think so I'm just going to use this just for this bit and then we'll get more out in a sec. Go and then we're going to punch out the holes. All right so now on the other side I'm going to do the exact same thing so I'm going to do that a little faster and I'll be back in just a sec. down we've got the sides down and we've got the holes punched in our little flipper so now we actually get to do some decorating so to start off with we need to put the covers in for the days of the week so I'm just grabbing my stickers I'm just grabbing my piece from my designs sticker covers I'm also going to grab these little hexagons because I'm going to use day of the week or date dot stickers on those I'm just going to move my flipper out of the way. So we'll cover up August 1st. Hopefully this will... No, it's not, not going to be big enough. So I'm going to grab the sticker book. I'm going to grab... Oh, damn it. I thought they'd have that. Okay. So I'll grab the paper lovers book again instead. This is good, though, because it brings in the rose gold, which I was really hoping that we would. So we're going to grab this one. I'm going to cut it in half. I'm going to try and be as precise about this as I can. I don't know if I want to use the paper trimmer or if that's just a bit much. And I did it wrong. It's a straight line but it's not even which is kind of annoying. I just missed a bit. That's all right. So I'm just going to stick that actually I need to make it thinner anyway. The irony. Right, -o. so I'm just going to cut that a little bit thinner. So I still want to be able to see that blue washi underneath it. So I'll put it just like that. And then 
we'll put the August back in there. We'll put it in the middle. There we go. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. So again, just going to cut that a little bit to make it a bit thinner. How did I just manage to do two straights? The lines actually both look straight. That's never happened to me before. And we'll put August in this one as well. Thankfully, I've got heaps of them, actually. Damn it, I only have one 2018 though. Oh well. I was gonna put 2018. Not that I don't know that it's 2018, but just to even it out. And then we're gonna use these day of the week stickers to cover up all the days, and then we'll use some number stickers to go along with them. So we're just gonna put all these in. Just gonna do my best to cover up where I can. Just thinking, do I put the tape down? Yeah, well, I don't usually. I find this sometimes a bit, looks a bit funny. We'll try it and we'll see if it looks okay. Sometimes it looks really silly. Not worry about the 13 because that'll get covered up with the little hexagon. Yeah, that looks fine. So the reason I got the hexagons out was because I want to use them to cover the numbers and then we'll put the date dots on top. Get that little one. And get the date dots. It's times like this I wish I had rose gold date dots, but I don't, so we're just going with these ones. Use the little ones. There we go. So I'm going to continue that the whole way down and I'll be back in just a sec. think that looks really cool with the little hexagons haven't quite worked out yet what I'm gonna put down here but I will get to that so now it's time to put some functional stickers in and then some decorative stickers in so we'll start off with all the ones that I have to put in so the first one I have to put in is my dentist I can't remember if I got my dentist one out no I didn't so I'm going to the dentist on Thursday so that needs to go in so I'll just find those stickers they were here somewhere I have too many stickers no, I don't. That's a lie. So I'll grab my little dentist one. These ones are from Peaceful Mind as well. I love these ones. I might have to use those ones too. Um, so we're grabbing this little one, same color as we've used with the hexagons. So the little blue. And I'm just gonna put that just down the bottom here. And then, while we are here, I'm going to put my day off stickers in. I'm going to use these ones as well because they match the writing. But I'm just going to put them, I might actually just jazz them up a little bit. So I'm just going to grab the sticker book. Just seeing if there's a label type one that I can use. It's not, so we'll jump back into the paper lovers book. I'm gonna grab this circle one with the blue dot, like the dark blue dots. And we're gonna do the same thing we did with the top one. We're gonna actually cut it in half. Or as close to half as I can do it. And this is a very different place for me to put this, but I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna put it in the middle. No, I'm not. 
That just looks silly. We're going to do the, still do the middle, but we're going to do the top instead of the bottom. Okay. And then just put the day off in the middle. Not sure I love that, but it's okay. I've got a day off there. I'm going to write the dentist in, because we're using black, I'm going to stick with that. So we'll put the dentist appointments in, dentist appointment in here. I had my hair done today and now it's in my face. And then I need to put something in for work and for Essendon Richmond. So we're going to go back into the sticker book again. I'm determined to get a sticker out of here. All right, this is, oh no, I can't do that. I haven't got any other pink, so we can't do that. I was gonna put this one here that said hooray and have that on the bottom. But number one, I don't think Essendon are gonna win. And number two, um, I'm, I'm, I don't know if I want the pink. That should've been around the other way. I don't think Essendon are gonna win, which is my biggest issue there. Grab this one. Have some fun cutting some of these stickers up. So I'm just going to cut just above the line. Just put that on the bottom. And then for the work details, I'm not going to have a whole box, but I am going to put in. I'm going to put in a puppy sticker for each. So I'm going to get some of these little puppy dolls. Have the little furry. I don't know what they're called. I'm gonna put that on Saturday. And then for Sunday, we'll put in a cat just to do something different. Little, uh, trying to avoid any dog or cat that's already on there. Actually, I'm going to use this squirrel. Don't know why. Just thought I would. I'm going to put that in the middle and then write a little bit, not quite the middle. Just write that in there as well. So they are all the little bits I need to put in. I'm going to put this to-do sticker, so that's what I'm going to put there, so we'll use one of these ones and stick that there, that covers up what's supposed to be there, so that's easy, I'm going to put all those lists there, then I'm going to put this on the side, which does look a little odd, but I think it's going to be okay. want to use, I want something to sit on the top, actually, I'm going to use a bit of this, not waste paper, I'm just going to cut a little bit, I'm going to turn it into a bit of a page flag or a, a flag shaped kind of thing, a bit fluffy but that's alright. There and that's going to be my expected mail kind of thing. I know it's gone the wrong way, but it doesn't always have to be perfect. Actually, let's do that instead. So I'm just giving that a bit of a rub. That's just a little trick. I know I've told you guys with this, these glue dots before, but sometimes they sort of stick to the edge a little bit. So if you just give them a rub, a light rub with an eraser, they will come off. So I'm just going to write expected mail in there. Right, let's put some stickers in this. We need a quote. And I need to use something out of this sticker book. Now the biggest problem is, I was gonna put a, a quote right there, but that's where the flipper's gonna sit, so we really can't. I think we'll put it on Sunday instead. So I'm gonna add just a teensy bit of, actually, no I'm not. I'm gonna avoid the sticker book at the moment. 
I need a little bit more rose gold, so I'm going to use that, which they only come in the Paper Lovers book. So we'll grab some of those. I'm going to get... I'm going to use this one that says Hooray, and I'm going to put that on my day off. And then I'm going to use this little plant one on this side. So I'm going to put the Hooray in the corner. That brings in a bit more rose gold and kind of adds that in. I'm going to put the plant up in that corner so it looks like it's hanging. And then I'm just going to draw in... This is where it's kind of going to come together a little bit with these at the top. So I'm going to put the to do's. No, I'm not. I'm going to do it. I'm only going to do it on Thursday. I'm going to get one of the to do's. Oops. Some of these aren't cut very well. And that's just the unfortunate thing that happens sometimes with stickers. They don't quite cut as nicely as you would like them to. But that's just what you get. Um, so I'm just going to do a little box around this one just to sort of give this a bit more gravitas. Oh, I actually like that. I was a little worried I wouldn't, but I do. Okay. Feels like it's just it's just missing something. What's it missing? So there's just a little piece of paper in here I found when I was flicking. And it's this little bird. I don't know why he's sort of screaming at me, but he is. So I'm just going to cut him out. I just want him to sit on top of my little expected mail thing there. I'm just cutting him out. Not crazy close but just close enough I'm gonna get one out something out that I haven't used in so long it's ridiculous this is my Xyron sticker maker I kind of forget I've got it that's my problem it's sitting on top of that rose gold I don't know why but that feels like it finishes it off all right so that is my week using the new sweet collection from Kiki K I was saying to Ryan when we were doing the fast forwards before when I was doing this side, it really does feel like this is a real throwback kind of week. This is the kind of week I haven't done for so long, um, but it's really exciting to have done it. I kind of feel like I've gone back to my roots a little bit and done something a lot more simple, a lot more, not easy, but just a little bit more how I started. And I, I miss kind of sometimes the simplicity of doing weeks like this. This has actually been a lot of fun. So I hope you guys did enjoy it too. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to be subscribed to my channel so you don't miss anything else. And let me know if you want me to use the other brand new Kiki K collection, The Life is Wonderful. Let me know if you'd like me to do a plan a week using that one as well because I'm quite happy to. Don't forget I've also got my giveaway going on over on Instagram. So if you're not following me over there, that link is down below as well. I hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic, fantastic week. And I will see you again really, really soon. Sending lots of huggles. Bye.